Tonight, we kick off another season of our 13 Kids Who Care segment. For the next three months, we'll introduce you to young people in the area working to make the Capital Region a better place for all of us. Mackenzie Gregory Jomel learned at an early age arthritis can strike children. She saw her sister suffering and convinced her entire school to help those in pain. Jessica Layton heads to Cahoes to share Mackenzie's story. Even after the final bell rings, you'll find Mackenzie Gregory Domel in the hallways of Cohoes High School, juggling a community service schedule that would make a lot of people's heads spin. I think it had a lot to do with my parents. I mean, they're very giving people, and I think that's kind of rubbed off on me. Her parents set the example, but her little sister was the motivation to organize this annual dodgeball tournament to raise money to fight arthritis. My 10 year old sister has arthritis. She was diagnosed at 18 months old. I remember her crying all the time. Now she's smiling. Mackenzie got her entire school to take part in this year's dodging arthritis event. They've raised nearly $3,000. Well, it made me feel really good, just like I was making, it, making a difference and I was doing my part to help out. Now that the tournament's over, she's focusing on her role as president of the community service club. She's also an active member of the school's anti-bullying committee. In addition to all of that, this year Mackenzie started up a mentoring program at the Cohoes Community Center, and she's already inspired 18 of her peers to volunteer and help. The idea is to keep middle school students who may be at risk on a safe and healthy path. A similar path Mackenzie has followed to get to where she is today. Giving, driven, and always smiling. A great combination for making a difference. Our thanks to St. Peter's Health Partners for their help with this project. News Channel 13 in St. Peter's will make a $500 donation to Mackenzie's favorite charity. So many kids doing so many wonderful things.